Hey everybody, this is Ben with DevSlopes.com. I just wanted to take a second and say congratulations. You've made your very first augmented reality game using Mapbox's Unity SDK. You've utilized one of the world's most powerful location data platforms to create a tabletop augmented reality game in no time flat. Together, we've learned a lot about how to use the amazing suite of tools provided to us by Mapbox in their Unity standard development kit. Here's a quick recap of what we've learned. You made your very first multi-platform tabletop augmented reality game powered by Mapbox and Unity. This game had a real world location for its environment, all generated for you at runtime. You were using a bunch of complicated APIs and you didn't even know it. You can just brag about being an API wizard though, we won't tell anybody. You also leveraged Mapbox Studio to create an awesome layout for your game. You also learned how to use it as a tool for rapidly developing, improving, and optimizing your game's performance. You learned about the abstract map, Mapbox's core feature that allows us to use their tool and generate maps at runtime. You learned all about Mapbox's image factory and its ability to render custom maps on the fly from multiple data sources. You discovered the terrain factory and its ability to render flat or even accurately elevated terrains in a snap. The world is literally at your fingertips. You gained real experience in using the vector tile factory and its powerful use in making a game out of simple map data. You've mastered vector layer visualizers. Remember these guys? And you've used them to bring life to those tiles and render a beautiful, functional environment with no effort. You've discovered how to create and manipulate game object modifiers, which you can use to modify game objects created by Mapbox. Now you can do just about anything with them. You've also figured out how to dynamically add scripts to Mapbox generated objects at runtime without even breaking a sweat. You became a tag adding ninja, learning to add tags to classify dynamically created objects You've learned how to effortlessly build fast, scalable, optimized environments on the fly with the use of visualizer filters. You should be really proud of yourself at this point. You've learned a lot, but we've really only scratched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what Mapbox can do. There's a whole world waiting for you out there. We've gotten you started, but now it's up to you. I have five challenges for you to help you get even more familiar with Mapbox's suite of tools and to help you really make your own version of Drenches of War your own. First, add an end game. Right now, we can endlessly shoot down tanks. Our score is just gonna go to zero and we can get as many points as we want. Add a way for the game to end. Here are a few options that you could use to get you started. But feel free to add your own. You could destroy buildings after so many hits using another script and game object modifier. You could add a simple timer to the game world using the game manager and handle it that way. You could also end the game if all buildings on the world get colored. And you could control that logic through more scripts and game object modifiers. My second challenge to you is to add an extra point of interest using Mapbox's layer visualizers and give it a different amount of points. Add some variety to your game. Add two or three of them. Third, customize your layout further with even more filters. Go for specific types of buildings or different height ranges. Experiment with them. Move beyond what we did with the simple, we don't want anything below 35 units. Fourth, I'd really like to see you add some functionality to your dynamically built buildings by allowing your players to wash paint away after a building's been painted by an enemy tank. You could even award points if they do so. Fifth, set up the tank factory with more accurate spawning to make sure no enemies fall off the edge. Find the limits of your augmented world and keep the tanks within those bounds. Doing these challenges will reinforce what you've learned here and make you an even better game developer. Again, congratulations on this awesome achievement. You've done a great job, and I can't wait to see what you build next with Mapbox. This has been with devslopes.com. We'll see you next time.